The latest Substance Painter version 11.1 .1 has arrived, with a bunch of fresh features and improvements. It is actually a major update that introduced a brand new painting tool, smarter workflow options, and performance boosts. And you will find everything from a powerful new ribbon path tool for detailed painting, to expanded symmetry options, physically accurate displacements, a new Vulkan graphics engine for speed, and even support for handy plugins. So one of the standout additions in Painter 11.1 .1 is the Ribbon Path tool. You see, this tool lets you paint repeating details along a path across your model surface. I would say this is great for things like stitches, zippers, white lines, or even text that follows a curve. And unlike the older path tool, the simply tiled in image often causes invisible breaks. The Ribbon tool can stretch a single texture or maybe a material, and it can do that continuously along the entire path for a smooth and broken look. It handles corners nicely, and it even allows custom start, metal, and end segments on a stroke. And this one is ideal for complex assets, like a zipper with a distinct head, even teeth and an end stop. To help you get started, the developers included 75 new presets using the ribbon tool for common patterns like cracks, seams, stitches, zippers, etc. So we can drop in these effects without having to create them from scratch. The symmetry features also got a nice upgrade, which is great news for anyone texturing symmetrical models or patterns. So now you can apply symmetry to fill layers and procedural effects, not just brush strokes. This means you can, for example, place a decal or material fill on one side of the model and have it automatically mirrored on the other side. And this is super handy for things like logos on both wings of the plane or patterns on a mirrored asset. And both the mirror symmetry and radial symmetry are supported in these fields. There is even a flip option for symmetrical text. So if you apply text or logo with symmetry, it will flip the second instance to keep it readable instead of backwards. Another interesting addition is physical displacement with real world units. Substance Painter 11.1 .1 now lets you define displacement using actual measurement units, like centimeters, which helps ensure consistency when you export your textures to other software or maybe game engines too. In practice, this means the depth of the bumps or grooves which you paint are correspondent to the real size. You can switch between the old normalized mode, which was based on the mesh's bounding box, and the new physical unit mode for displacement, and see the heights in context. For example, knowing a bump is 2mm tall on the real object. And by making displacement scale physically accurate, Substance Painter helps your material look correct when combined with real-world dimensions in other 3D tools. As you can see, it is a subtle change, but it adds a level of precision that many designers and 3D artists will actually appreciate when matching textures across different platforms. When it comes to performance, Painter 11.1 feels faster thanks to some under-the-hood upgrades. Notably, Adobe has switched the Windows and Linux versions from the older OpenGL graphics API to Vulkan, which is a modern graphics backend. This change can significantly improve viewport performance and painting responsiveness, especially on complex scenes. In Adobe's internal tests, the Vulkan upgrade led to smoother interaction on high-resolution textures and dense geometry, particularly on AMD Radeon GPUs which previously didn't get optimal support. Another big plus is that texture baking now uses Vulkan for GPU ray tracing, instead of relying on DirectX and optics. The GPU acceleration baking is no longer NVIDIA exclusive, which is a good thing. So it is now available on AMD graphic cards and even on Linux systems, which increases hardware support for faster bakes. Finally, with integration features, Painter 11.1 .1 added support for Creative Cloud desktop plugins in both Substance Painter and Designer, allowing you to automate tasks and tailor the software to their needs. These plugins use a public Python API and integrate without cluttering the UI, meaning you can add functionality or pipeline tools in a clean way. And Adobe even launched a couple of example plugins to start. For instance, a random seed batch changer that automatically randomizes all procedural seed values in your project, which is great for quickly generating texture variations and a note snippet saver for artists to store reusable note setups. And there you have it, guys. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and then we'll see you in the next one.